everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making a delicious creamy chicken coconut sauce. So today's recipe is a very easy one. This sauce is packed with so much flavor and I'm sure you guys will love it. So let's go straight into the recipe. I like to get all my ingredients prepped before starting the whole cooking process. It makes things a little easier in the kitchen. So here I've got three medium sized tomatoes, one medium sized onion and three cloves of garlic. I'm just going to dice these tomatoes into small cubes. Now, if you are trying to choose your tomatoes for this recipe, make sure you choose the ones that are really juicy. It helps to enhance the flavor of the sauce. I'm also going to be dicing my onion. And finally, I'm going to be mincing my garlic. So now that these are out of the way, let's go straight into the cooking. I have paprika, curry powder, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and black pepper here. And these are the seasoning I'm going to be using to season my chicken generously. Here are the chicken thighs I'm going to be using today. They've got bone in and skin on. But feel free to use any chicken type you want for this recipe. It's all well and good. So now I'm going to pat this chicken dry with a paper towel. In that way, my seasoning is going to be able to stick very well to the chicken. Then I also like to add some olive oil. And this is also going to help the seasoning stick better. I'm now going to be using my hand to massage this chicken because we want all that seasoning to coat every part of the chicken. Now I know not a lot of people are comfortable using their hands to do this. If that is you, feel free to use you know, a pair of gloves before doing it. I'll be adding some coconut oil inside my pan. And I'm using coconut oil because I want the sauce to have a full-bodied coconut flavor. However, if you don't have coconut oil, feel free to use any mild tasting oil of your choice. Now the oil is melted, it's now time to start frying the chicken. I'm going to be frying the skin side first on low to medium heat and I'll be frying each side for about 7 to 10 minutes or till the skin side becomes nicely crispy and the other side becomes nicely browned. Now this is done to my liking. I'll just be taking them off the heat and I'll be setting them aside. So now I'm going to be adding my diced onion inside the oil. And you want to cook this until the onions become soft and translucent. In goes the minced garlic, fresh thyme leaves and grated ginger. Now stir this in and leave it to cook for another 30 seconds or thereabouts. It's now time to add the tomatoes and I'm going to be leaving this to cook for about 5 minutes or until they release all their juices and become nice and softened. Now add the salt, black pepper, smoked paprika and curry powder. Give that a good mix and leave it to simmer again for another 1 to 2 minutes. This is going to give the seasoning enough time to penetrate well inside the sauce. Here comes the star of today's recipe, our coconut milk. I'm going to be adding this straight inside the sauce. And I'm going to be adding some chicken stock as well. And this is my homemade chicken stock that I made earlier today. If you don't have the homemade one, feel free to use the store-bought one. It's all well and good. Now throw in two habanero peppers and one bay leaf, just for some extra aromatic flavor. The sauce is beginning to smell really exotic right now. But we are not done. It's now time to introduce back our chicken inside the sauce. Now cover this up and leave it to cook for another 20 to 30 minutes on low to medium heat or till the chicken becomes really tender. And don't forget to be stirring this every now and then during the cooking process in order to avoid burning. 
So that is it guys, we are practically almost done with cooking our coconut sauce. But before I serve this, I love to remove my habanero peppers and bay leaf so no one ends up chewing them. <laughs> it's not going to be funny. So I also like to add some diced green bell peppers and red bell peppers just for some additional nutrition and color. If you don't want to do this, it's all well and good. I like to finish this up with some parsley leaves and that is it. I'm going to be serving this over a bed of white rice today, but feel free to serve over pasta, couscous, quinoa or any other grains of your choice. I also like to eat this with my bread sometimes. So that is it again for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As usual, all the details to today's recipe can be found in the description box below. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.